Hi guys, Clara here, and I'm back with another clay tutorial. This time for a highly requested suggestion, a horse. Before we begin, these are all the tools I used while sculpting. You can find more info in the video description. Starting with a ball of brown clay, I'm rolling that into a thick log, tapering one end for the neck and slightly rounding the other end for the butt. Angle up the neck to create an L shape. The head is simply a ball of clay rolled out into a peanut shape. Attach your peanut to the neck and blend the pieces together with a rounded sculpting tool or your finger. The ears are next, using a small ball and pinching it into a diamond shape. Press that against a flat surface and make an indent in the center with a ball pointed tool. Fill that indent with an even smaller ball of clay in a slightly different color. Then you can cut your diamond shape in half to produce two triangular ears. I pinched mine a bit before I added them to better fit the curve of the head and blend the edges as necessary. And while we're working on the head, might as well add some indents for eyes and nostrils. Tiny balls of black clay then fill the indents for the eyes. As for the legs, I'm rolling out a ball of clay into a log until it matches the width of the legs I want. Cut out into four equal pieces and repeat the same steps for a smaller ball of clay in a different color for the hooves. Try to roll the log out to match the width of the legs as this will make the next step easier. Now when all the pieces are cut out, you'll attach a hoof to the end of each leg and roll against a flat surface to join and blend the pieces together. Repeat until you have four complete legs. For easier attachment to the body, I'm going to make an angled cut at the top of each leg. Then it's just placing them in whatever pose you prefer. I'm choosing a standing position with a bent front leg. Once placed, I'm slightly blending the pieces together, not worrying about a seamless look. Now you can leave it like this for a hairless look, or you can choose another color of clay, in my case, a light brown. And roll out tiny pieces of clay into thin logs with tapered ends on both sides. You'll need several for this step. Start by grouping a few strands together between your fingers. Rotate and add another until you have a good sized tail going. You have to use some pressure to attach the tail, which is why I'll be adding a few pieces on top to hide the flattened section. For the mane, you could do the same as you did for the tail, but I chose to add them individually for a more organic look. Though I would suggest starting from the bottom and working your way up and not randomly placing them like I did. It'll make for a more natural look and it'll be a lot easier. A few smaller strands are added to shape the face and add volume, then your horse is ready for the oven. Bake your clay according to your clay's baking instructions and in no time, you'll have your very own miniature clay horse. Now that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!